Right about now, you're probably asking yourself something along the lines of, is he really going to review Wheel of Fortune for the NES? I totally am going to review Wheel of Fortune for the NES, originally developed by Rare and produced by Game Tech. It was actually released in September of 1988, and it is a three-player game. But, since it came out in 88, which is before, it's like a year before the satellite, and two years before the four score, there was no way that you can play this game with more than two controllers, even though it's a three-player game. You actually had to share the first controller for players one and three, while the second player got their own controller all to themselves, which doesn't seem fair, but that's okay. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune is definitely fun. It's, you know, I'm going to be honest, I've never been a Wheel of Fortune person, really. I, it's not that it's a bad game or anything like that. It, it's definitely a good game show. But it's just, not, it's never been one of my favorites. Uh, I definitely got to say The Price is Right is my favorite game show. But, I don't know, this, this one's definitely fun. <laughs> you can, it's always funny to watch... Wheel of Fortune and then watch Jeopardy or vice versa because you can definitely see the difference between the contestants <laughs> but uh... yeah you know hey, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll leave you to your opinion of what you think of the actual game show Wheel of Fortune if you're looking for a Pat Sajak fix then I'm sorry you will definitely not find it in this game Pat Sajak does not make an appearance however Vanna White does and I gotta say Vanna White is just so incredibly hot. <laughs> I mean, she in the 80s, you know, in her prime, like, she was just amazing, but she is still hot. I would still tap Vanna White, and I gotta say, that 8-bit version of her is pretty damn hot as well. I'd probably tap that as well. Now, this game, of course, has the limitations of the NES, and so there was no keyboard or anything like that, so you had to select the various letters with a cursor which kind of slowed things down. If you ran out of time, then you, of course, missed a turn. Uh, back in the day, this was actually one of the very first NES games that penetrated my NES. <laughs> and uh, the reason for that is because back in 1988, uh, you know, game rentals was like pretty much a new thing. And I was just renting all kinds of games. I, I rented at least three games a week. I mean, I was just addicted to it. I definitely rented all the games in the uh, video store that was closest to my house. This was one of them that I never chose. And my mom decided she would like to play it. And so the very first time I played this, I was showing my mom the NES controller, getting her familiar with that. Since before that, she had never picked it up because she didn't have a reason to. Mario wasn't her cup of tea, <laughs> neither was any of the other games that I own, which wasn't too many at the time, because this is right about the time when I actually got the NES. Anyhow, I definitely gotta say this game is a really good port, or a really good home version, or whatever you want to classify it as. <laughs> uh, I, it's, it has uh, four different rounds. The first two were just your standard Wheel of Fortune rounds, and uh, the, th the third round is your speed round, that's where uh, Pat Sajak, even though Pat Sajak isn't in the game, that's where he would spin the wheel, and every letter is worth that much, and you just, like, you keep trying to solve the puzzle every time. It's just, you know, standard Wheel of Fortune rules. Now, something pretty interesting about round four, round four is actually the last round, and of course that's a round where you win the big prize and everything. Something interesting about that is it actually let you select which letter, which uh, five consonants in a vowel you wanted. Because this was before they actually like would just standard, like stand, like nowadays it's a standard. They just they take R, S, T, L, N, and uh, E, and if any of those letters happen to be in the word of you know the final round then cool you get a little hint at towards what it is and then 
you know, and that's, <laughs> that's how it is now, but, like, I mean, so this was, I, I preferred how they did it back here in the NES days, <laughs> back in the 80s than I do now, but, like I said, I've, you know, I, I'm not too keen on Wheel of Fortune anyhow, so it doesn't really matter to me, but the funny thing about this is, like, years ago, I mean, we used to play this all the freaking time, my mom and my dad and I, and we had a really good time. I, I think my mom had a much better time with it than I did, but, you know, it was just fun playing games with the family. So I guess there isn't really a whole lot more I could say about Wheel of Fortune for the NES. It's definitely an excellent home version of the game, and it, I think it's still, I, I think it still stands strong today. It definitely held up. And it still looks good, still plays good, sound effects are good. Yeah, I, I definitely like this version of Wheel of Fortune. And I definitely have good memories of it from the 80s. And it was just, it was definitely funny that my sister chose to play this game. Out of all the games that I own, she chose, she chose this. <laughs> so, whatever. As you can see, I definitely won this one. My name was Poop. <laughs> Poop. That's great. Anyhow, <laughs> I won a, I won a Porsche, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> so anyhow, that's all I got for this review. I hope somebody out there found somewhat of an entertainment value out of it. <laughs>